What is the best way to find a partner as precious as a pearl? In doing business, one can face countless challenges. Today's challenges exist, and new ones may arise tomorrow. There are so many difficulties. That's why not everyone manages to reach success. Success isn't for everyone. But who owns it? Those who are mentally prepared to face and overcome difficulties can succeed. However, if one of your partners gets on your nerves, you might resentfully question, why do I have to deal with this person and end up falling in the pit of failure? You all have people around you whom you don't like, right? Some dislike their sponsors. Some dislike their partners. And eventually, some even switch lines. Those kinds of people will inevitably come across individuals they don't like, no matter where they go. That's why you shouldn't try to avoid the difficulties you're facing right now. It's important that you have the determination, courage, and reason to overcome any problem that comes your way. Not everyone possesses the quality of a pearl. If every shell contains a pearl, then pearls wouldn't be considered precious at all. Natural pearls are found, but one way to find those pearls is by opening all the shells. You will need to dive into the sea, collect all the shells in baskets, and open each one of them. Then you will find pearls. The best way to find a partner as precious as a pearl is by bringing in many people and observing their work. However, what if there's no pearl? Just throw them all away. How can you just do that? Because the sea is vast and there are many shells. What I'm saying is that the world is wide and there are plenty of people. You can keep recommending the Atomy business to as many people until you find your pearl. However, you must carefully open each shell, believing that there's a pearl inside. Otherwise, you might risk discarding a shell containing a pearl. That's why you need to do your best for everyone. It's about giving your utmost sincerity. Keep in mind that consistently reaching out to many people guarantees the discovery of pearls. When I first started, there were only four of us. Over a span of three months, I made 250 phone calls to get these four people to join Atomy. Consistent meetings over three months led to the recruitment of these four people. Many came and went, but these four grew to 15 million members. In network marketing, it is understood that many people come and go. But what does it take to succeed? Success isn't about having no one leave. Success is achieved when more people are coming than leaving. No one who left has become rich so far. If someone can become rich elsewhere, other than Atomy, then let them go. Why waste your time on them? Among those who remain, many have become wealthy. Then, you have to stay, even if others leave. Some of those who leave might have been potential partners, but they could also be leaving for something better suited for their personality. Some find this business suitable.
while others do not, even after trying it out. For example, does everyone become a soccer player after kicking a ball a few times? No, right? Among them, some truly enjoy soccer and even become soccer players while many others, after kicking a ball, realize they're not cut out for it. The same applies to the atomy business. Does everyone who starts the atomy business settle in and succeed? That's not the case. Even if some people leave, you should stay with Atomy and continue on the path to success. There's a gap between reality and your vision, right? It takes courage to overcome this gap. There may be criticism from those around you, so you need the courage to overcome it. It's good for you to approach the business with such a flexible mindset. One essential aspect is committing yourself to those who stay till the end, striving to ensure their success. That's the mindset that you should have.